Welcome back to another fantastic episode of Product Zomboid, where we're at our stick traps. We're gonna go ahead and add some worms to the bait. Bibbidi bop, here's a worm for you. And here's a worm for you. It is just the next day. Yeah, nothing too crazy. We're at 14,380. 14, 14,380. I'm gonna put these worms here. Can we see those worms? Yeah, we barely can. I'll just try to remember that those are there. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and set up those traps and we're gonna go take our nice little cop car out for a, uh, a spin. It's pretty fast. I think police, police cars are actually some of the fastest cars in this game. Fastest and like least loud. Anyways, other than that, I'll meet you guys over at Riverside. All right, we are here at Riverside, and it's quite foggy. I've learned that the car doesn't really turn all that well. I hit a tree accidentally while trying to turn. That's unfortunate, but, you know, it is what it is. Is that crowbar something that I left for myself? It is! I'm taking you. You're mine! You are indeed mine! But yeah, hopefully today we'll be able to, um... Clear out a little bit more zombies. You know, uh, this place is starting to become a little bit more sparse. You know, never mind, lol. Yeah, you know, the more and more I come up and down these uh, roads. We were, we're actually able to uh, get to some of the, the good stores and whatnot. Even though we've hit literally the best store around here, which is indeed the VHS store. I really wish that VHSs... I don't know. I, is, is it wrong of me to say that I want something more with VHSs, even though they, they already take up quite a bit of, um, not real estate, but um, of importance uh, in, the, in everybody's journey into the zombie apocalypse, alpacalypse. Eh! You know? I don't know what kind of, it's like some kind of bleat. <laughs> you know? Yes, that is that is the noise that I made with my mouth. You're welcome. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm kind of hoping that maybe in the next couple episodes we'll be able to um, finally be done with Riverside. We'll be able to actually make our way down towards uh, West Point, my favorite small town in um, lovely Knox County. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of these dudes. Come on over. Come on over, Rover. I, I, is, is it weird that I kind of want to just honk my horn? Get like a huge amount of zombies? Maybe. Would that be smart? Nah, probably not. Would it be fun? Yeah, of course. We'd be fighting all day. Although, this car doesn't have uh, an axe on it, just in case. So, let's probably not do that. Until we have a vehicle that has axes in the back. Axes in the backses. Because I don't think this one has any axes. Yeah, it has a bunch of, like, guns and shit. And we don't really need. Not yet. I mean, eventually we'll, we'll try to get, um, firearms up there. The problem that I'm going to be running into with firearms is, um, when it gets, when it comes to, uh, maxing out skills is reloading. I don't know, man. Reloading sounds, um, absolutely awful. I've never seen reloading maxed out. I can't imagine how much time that's gonna take. I know I've had I know I've had people you know come in and say, "Oh, reloading doesn't take that much time at all." Obviously, they've never gotten to level ten reloading. Quite obviously, they've never gotten that far. In fact, I've never seen anything past level five. And that takes hours, absolute hours. And there's there's honestly no reason to get level anything past level like 
three, maybe level four. And reload, like the, the returns from reloading is just not that good after level four. Unlike other skills, reloading is just, it's just whatever. I've even played around with level 10 reloading and level four reloading and there's not much difference. Shotguns still load about the same amount. It's just significant between um, one and four. From what I remember, I don't know the exact percentages, but it's not much. At least it can't be. I can't imagine it's much. Yeah, I'm gonna kill these guys as well. Mowing over Rover. It's time to die. And we'll be done with these zombies here soon. On to looting. Looting and scooting. Lol. I was like, I don't want to run towards a tree. I have to turn around. I bet some people like puckered up when that happened. Man, I've done 16x uniform. Zombies aren't really scary anymore. Doesn't matter how many zombies are around me, I know how to go through zombies. I can literally walk through zombies. It's not even an issue. I can walk amongst them. Never never even being grabbed or bit. It's crazy. Although if you if you mess it up even once, you're you're donezo, you're dunskies, dunzeronskis. Let's go ahead and smoke a, a nice little ciggy. Cigarette or cigarette. Continue on forward. I'm gonna go pick up the stool. Go pick this up because we're we're starting to push closer and closer downwards. Slower, slower, maybe I don't know. Man, my hands hurt. God, my hands hurt today. I don't know if my carpal tunnel is acting up or what. I usually I used to have really bad carpal tunnel when I uh, used to uh, speed run. When I used to speed run Resident Evil like two and three and everything. Oh man. I used to have insane carpal tunnel. It's either my carpal tunnel's acting up or I have, uh, or my osteopenia is, is being uh, a jerk. Damn these bones and my bony hands. That's another reason why I don't really play that many video games, is because it just absolutely destroys my hands. I have to stretch them out like, I don't know, maybe not hourly, but a few times a day easily. Or else I'm just gonna be in loads and loads of pain. I hope nobody, nobody that watched my videos have to have this struggle. Cause it's, it's pain. Man, I can't wait for all of this to go ahead and disappear. Not that I don't like seeing it. It's just, I don't like being queasy. Queasy scares the hell out of me. I've died, I've, I've died from that so many times. Not queasy, but being sick in general. Proximity of the zombies and everything. Which is quite annoying, if you ask me. I know I've talked about that before, but at the same time, it's just one of those things like, what? What do you mean me being sick killed me? Me being sick from smells, what do you mean that killed me? That's crazy. Being in proximity to the corpses. I mean, I get it, sure. You know what? You know what Indie Stone needs to bring back? Insanity. What? Andy Stone needs to bring back sanity. I don't know. I don't know if you guys remember or if there's any um, Product Zomboid veterans in here, but there used to be a moot a moodle that um, was called Sanity, and 
I I don't remember how you got it. I I don't know if there was a yeah. There honestly, I can't remember it hardly at all. But I do remember how fucking scary it was when you when you were insane, because like you would hear terrible terrible things. You'd hear like chittering and like bugs crawling and all sorts of craziness terrifying absolutely terrifying some of the worst sounds in this game and then for some odd reason they got rid of it like i don't know that that honestly made this game truly horror to me and then they got rid of it and i'm just like man remember when you guys used to have that crazy mechanic I remember. Do you remember? I remember. I'm going to take these meat cleavers. I'm going to go ahead and stock a bunch of meat cleavers because they're a little bit easier to um, use to get um, short bladed. In my opinion. Beer bottle butter. Hot butter ice cream. Hot butter. It's a diseased rat. Imagine you get a skill and it allows you to um, to enjoy eating um, dog food and other disgusting items. Wouldn't that be crazy? That'd be absolutely bonkers. I don't know if I've got that or not. In fact, when it comes to books, I don't know what I need. I don't know what books I need anymore. I can't, I can only imagine not much. I think I need tailoring four or it might be mechanic. No, it's definitely not mechanics. It's, I think it's tailoring four is what I need. One of the fours. I could be wrong though. In fact, I probably am. Go ahead and place this, I don't know, right here. There's tons of zombies, though. That's the problem. That's truly the problem. Come on there, lady. I just want to get my rest on. Is it okay if I rest here? Next to your friends. Imagine you have to do this. Imagine in the the zombie apocalypse just literally going through this many people. This many zombies. I couldn't imagine it, man. Like that'd be crazy. Like this isn't a stupid amount of, of zombies to actually like kill on your own. Like I know this. I know this game has um, exhaustion mechanics, but you couldn't believe how exhausted you would be after just killing maybe a couple zombies. You know, like four or five. I don't think it really matters how um, how buffy you are, you know, or like how how fit you are. Just swinging any weapon at, at anything for a good amount of time. Like I used to. I used to practice boxing quite a bit. I used to um, practice boxing and other um, martial arts and everything. And uh, you go for like 10 minutes and you're out. You're done. It's very exhausting work. Maybe not for 10 minutes, but like you do 30 minutes of it and you're, you're absolutely done. Our character does this all day long. He does this all day long, another machete, if you didn't see it. All day long our character does this. Swinging on zombies. Just the resistance off the bat would, would be enough to um, exhaust you. I mean, obviously we, we see it on our moodlets and everything. But he'd be in pain every single night. I, I'm surprised that you don't get anything like that. Like, if you kill X amount of zombies, you know, with your fitness level or or your strength level, that you get some type of, uh, like, muscle fatigue or whatnot. I know that would be annoying after a while. 
But it would be realistic. It'd be very realistic. You'd be in tons of pain. Honestly, I forgot where that zombie was. There's so many dead bodies. He's right here somewhere. There he is. Perfect. Lovely. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and put this on our back. So we can switch to that next. I'm going to kill this tiny group of zombies. Hi there, boys. You want some nice swinging? hey ya! Buy him! Slay him! Take you to Denny's and get you a grand slam there, buddy boy. Sit on the ground, check around, bring it around town. That's all I've got. Come on, stop it. Ben. So for the guys who are watching this, um, this series in incorrect order, how you get up from actually, um, from like the quick get up, you just hold shift. Hold, holding shift will allow you to get up from a uh, rest for sitting on the ground extremely fast. Like, a zombie can literally get this close to me, and I'll get up way faster than the zombie could even think about touching me. Before they could even ponder it, if, before I can feel their breath on me. It's just one of those mechanics that you don't it just doesn't exist like it doesn't really tell you that that exists and that's one of the things i like about this game is that there's a lot of things that this game shows that doesn't inherently tell you why why it does that or like doesn't tell you how to do so tons of little tiny mechanics that's what that's what makes this this game so good I'm going to go ahead and rest up a little bit. It's about 6.30. About 6-ish. Six, Got some more zombies to kill. Going deep and under. Come on there, lady. Come on out. I'm going to see you in my pile. Come on, yeah, I'm talking to you. Derpy Dan, what are you doing, lady? Come on there, friends. I think this little motel is almost done. A lot a lot less zombies are coming out of it, even though I saw a lady go up the stairs not too long ago. I don't really know how I saw her. I shouldn't have any sight over there, unless I was peering through a window somehow. That's what I like to see, man. Now the machete has a little bit more swing speed, and it's really nice. Yeah, this is awesome. I'm going to sit on, sit on this nice little stool here again. Rest a bit. Get back at it. Yeah, we got some time, man. It's about 7 o'clock. We probably have a couple more hours, like two. Two more hours of play time. So we have to go ahead and come on back. Come on there, friendlies. Yeah, this is going to bring a lot of zombies, but that's fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get one of my crowbars out, put it on my back. We're, we're going to get nice and spicy in here. That's fine. Hopefully we can get the level four uh, long blade. Especially with how much damage this does. Oh, hi there, buddy. He's got tattoos. That's kind of cool. I like that. See, there is a tattoo mod, and I'm just not a big fan of it. It's whatever. Something about it is just not that cool. I think it's because they're they try to do too much resolution, or like they they try to do too big of pieces for what little pixels you have. You see this dude? He had no arm. What happened? What was what what was up with his arm? Also, I didn't hit that zombie. I didn't even push her. She just fell down. Um what?
Yeah, he just doesn't have an arm. That's crazy. Huh? I'm so confused. Also, I want this leg. Come here, buddy. Come here. I want to collect them. I want to collect them all. Pokemon. I didn't realize that there's different colors. Hey, dear buddy. Good boy, dear buddy. You know, I'm really upset, too. Because I thought those fancy shoes... I, I know about the fancy shoes, but I, I didn't realize that those fancy shoes were those types of fancy shoes, like the heels and everything. I thought they were like like loafers or something like that. And I got really excited and I put them on. I'm like, oh, these are green. Oh, wait, my socks are green. No. This is um, quite upsetting. Quite upsetting indeed. It seems the machete actually uses a lot less um, stamina. Do we have those? I don't know. I know I've got them on my 8x playthrough on Twitch. I don't think I'm going to grab them. Don't think I'm going to grab them. As silly as it is. I've already worn it before. Come on there, friends. We're getting deeper. Saucy. I like saucy. I'd go to a place called saucy. It's like a barbecue place or something, right? That's what it sounds like. I think it's... Isn't it like a hairdresser? Whoa! I, I got so excited about this uh, maid. I, sw I swung and missed. Whoa there, Nelly. Hold your horses. Go ahead and butter my bread there, folks. Again, the only way you're going to die in this game is if you lose focus. Especially if you do these simple steps. These five easy steps. You too can kill thousands and thousands of zombies much like I do. Yeah. It's five easy steps. Eventually we're going to be killing so many zombies. It's it's going to be ridiculous. I mean especially what we should have done, I which I'm I'm thinking about doing for West Point. The only reason why I I'm not doing it here is because I'm trying to train farming and everything, and I've got plenty of um, veggie tables that I would like um, to not rot and whatnot. But what I would eventually like to do, um, which won't be a problem when, once our cooking is up, but um, is making little outposts inside the towns that I'm killing zombies in so that I can just wake up and go, you know? So I can just... Start at like eight, eight o'clock in the morning. And just get at it. That's what. That's really what I can't wait for. Which is something we're gonna have to do in West Point, and I have the perfect little outpost for it too. Which I've used for um, bases as well. This is a nice little house. Nothing too crazy. I know there's a lot of nice places in West Point. There's a lot of um, great base ideas that I enjoy. I don't, you know, I don't, I feel like a lot of people, um, base in West Point, a whole lot of people ba base in West Point, a whole lot of people base in Rosewood, you know, the fire station and everything, but not a lot of people based in Riverside. Anyways, I'll check you guys out when we get back. All right, let's go ahead and check our traps. What you got for me? Another dead bird? I mean, the only thing that can come out of these are dead birds, but, you know, we can pretend that uh, it's other things like um, uh, squirrels and, um, I don't know, stuff and things. Check the trap. Is he, he still have bait? No. I can add a dead bird as bait? What? Why would I do that? Um, I don't think I'm going to add any more bait. Anyways, I'll... Yeah, it's foggy, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, I'll meet you guys in uh, Riverside once we uh, put these dead birds in the freezer. In that freezer.
See you back. All right, we are back in Riverside. It is very, very, very foggy. I feel like this playthrough, I've, I've been met with the most fog I've ever had in my entire Zomboid career. I've never seen this much fog. Just like every other day is an insane amount of fog. Constant. Man, it is November. Where's this fog coming from? November in Kentucky. Also, can we talk about that? It's November in Kentucky. Uh, yeah, it's got a, it's got a whole magazine. Put that on the ground. I pick it up and I push it on the ground. I threw the cake too. I don't think I, I said those lyrics correctly, but uh, yeah. You know, it, you know, it's weird. You know, it's very weird. Um, music. Is, is it just me? Be, like me getting older or it's like there's no good music anymore or not that there's no good music that there's no new music like new music just doesn't exist anymore like I can't find anything I used to be one of those people hey Fisker's playing Kitschy good job buddy I used to I used to be one of those people that um uh I used to like scour the internet for new music i used to just absolutely go head to toe just trying to find new music to listen to and everything not just like new genres and everything even though i do enjoy me some math core you know but um just music in general just finding new bands finding new uh genres people albums you name it i used to do that all the time and now, if I try doing it, I just don't find anything. I'm just unable to find anything brand new. And if there is, it's it's mostly like hip-hop. Which isn't a bad thing. I enjoy hip-hop quite a bit, actually. But it's like... You don't, you don't hear any pop-punk or anything. In fact, um... Oh, God. What's the band? I'm, I'm drawing a blank, but the, there's like some some pop punk bands that are just pop now. I'm like, they don't even like try to be rock anymore whatsoever. And it, it's it's crazy. It's crazy to think about that. Oh, hi there, Chungus. But, um, yeah. I find that so weird. I honestly have a, it might honestly be COVID as well, like COVID affecting everything. But I live, I live right next to, um, well, not right next to, but fairly close to Firefly. Like when Firefly happens every year, it gets pretty busy around this, these pots, around these pots. And even their lineups, I never see anything new. It's like the same, same people, same stuff, you know, no, nothing ever changes. It's, it's unfortunate. Although I, one of my dreams is still to be in a uh, in a uh, punk rock band or something, or even a metal band would be sick. You you think that there's indie or like even an indie band or something like an indie punk band would be awesome? Uh, do you think there's indie metal? Does that even exist? Or like punk metal? I guess that doesn't really makes sense. I feel like all metal's kind of punk, in a way. But, like, I don't know, does that even exist? Indie metal. What'd that be? Acoustic metal? Essentially? I guess it could... I guess it could be a thing. It, it sound really weird, though. That sound really weird. It's like you're you're trying to you're trying to learn um, acoustic guitar, but the only uh, the only actual genre of music you enjoy is metal, death metal, and everything. You're just you're just pig squealing on you know to uh, some acoustic strumming. I just want to see that once in my life. In fact, I have a guitar. I'm going to do it myself immediately after this episode. I'm going to try it. I'm just gonna go pick a, a random job for a cowboy song and for waking the waking the the cadaver. Excuse me, I can't say anything today. 
And um, just go for it, man. Just go for it. Why not? Who's to stop me? My neighbors? Who cares? I'm my neighbors. I'm the one who knocks. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah, the machete's doing pretty well. I think the the added um, maintenance is really helping our um, our machete skills and everything. Because usually machetes don't really last at all, or all that long at all. So what what is our maintenance skill? What is that? Look at these dudes faking. What is that? So level six? Yeah, it's not that bad. Q uh, Foo Fighters Pretender to um, the zombies that are getting up. I've got another confession. I know that's not the song. Maybe? Is that the song? I don't know. I just know Pretender is uh, one of those songs. And I, I'm a big uh, David Grohl fan. Huge David Grohl fan. Which is a shame that... Um, Bassist? Guitarist, maybe? I can't remember. Or was he the drummer? God, I don't know. I'm, I'm more of a David Grohl fan and not the other the other dudes. Because believe it or not, David Grohl in the first album, or the first or the second album, David Grohl did everything. He did the vocals, he did the guitar, he did the drumming. He mixed it all together on his own, and then he released it. Like... David Grohl is, is an amazing, amazing dude. Very, very talented. Oh dear, Zambi. All right, cool. Uh, I'm gonna drive my truck up just a little bit. Since we're clearing down this way, I need to go ahead and X these things off the map. But, um, I don't know, there's still quite a bit. There's still quite a bit that we need to, um, finish up here. Come on there, duties and dudettes. I know, I love the argument with, uh, like, oh, dude is, is, uh, not gender fluid or whatnot. Ah, uh, ten of me it is. And they're like, oh, would you, would you, uh, kiss a dude? I'm like, yes. Yes, I would. Why, yes, I would. Little do they know I'm hey. <laughs> Little do they know. But yeah, I feel like, hey, see that dude over there? She's, she's really hot. It's like, yeah. I get it. Yeah. I totally get it. It's like, would you cut the dude? I guess it depends. I, I guess the, the, um... The counter to that argument, it's like, I guess it depends on who, I, which dude I'm talking to. If it's a, it's if it's a lady dude, then sure. If, if it's a, a manly dude, then sure. <laughs> All right, let's go. Come on, come on. Very, very little. Um, Zombies left in this town. We're almost done. Whoop. We're almost done. Slowly but surely. But don't call me Shirley. I was gonna say, these zombies are one hit away. Man, I miss my spike baseball bats. Remember the good old days when we had when we had spike baseball bats? We've already gone through nine of them. Oh. Those days. They were lovely indeed. Oh, but you could totally say, Oh, but Vinks, why don't you just like repair those blood bats? Nah, we got we got plenty of weapons. I don't really care to repair anything. There's no real point of repairing things. Especially on this this uh, population of the zombies. We're just gonna continue getting um consistent amount of uh, zombies that are gonna keep on repaying us with weapons 
I mean, for every 500 zombies, I get another axe. For every 30 zombies, I get a knife. For every 100 zombies, I get a crowbar. Maybe. I don't know. Crowbars, uh... Sometimes you get a ton of crowbars, and sometimes you don't. For every... 10,000 zombies, I get a katana. So I'm guaranteed at least 10 katanas before 100,000. With that speaking, I'd say that's pretty realistic. Every 10,000 zombies, you get a katana. That's about right. I see a zombie. Come on there, ladies. Marion's tired of all the bullshit. Marion just wants to relax in his, in his nice comfy home. Have a nice big old cup of ice cream. A nice bowl of ice cream. I don't know why I said cup. I guess that's fine. A cup of ice cream? Yeah. If, if somebody ate ice cream out of a cup, I'd totally be okay with that. I'm like, you go. You do it. You go, girl. You eat your cup of ice cream. Enjoy yourself. Eat your ice cream proudly. Yeah, let's see. I want to clear... Well, I, I want to check out these. I just want to loot a little bit. I'm not interested in anything in this place. I mean, what am I going to grab? Towels? Who cares? Yeah, there's there's a few. There's these spots. This is a restaurant. And... What is that? Fashion? Ooh. I like fashion. I want to be fashionable. Come on. Make me fashionable. Make me fashionable. Look at that robe. Make me fashionable. Give me what I want. Give me what I want, what I really, really want. I'll tell you what I want, I'll, what I really, really want. I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it. Give me your fashion. I want fashion. I want your designer clothes. Authentic Z, give me the good stuff. Don't let me, don't make me get authentic peach on the, on the ringer. As, I'm going to get these uh, mannequins as well. That's the big one. We've been, we've been collecting some clothing for some mannequins for quite some time. We also need to be on the lookout for some Davids. If you guys don't know what David is, that's the gnome. He indeed has a name. Surprised not a lot of people know that David has a name in this. Or that the gnome has a name. The filthy David. He, he belongs in jail. He belongs in jail. Him and his dirty deeds. Done dirt cheap. Dirty deeds. Slam. Dunk. Slam. Dunk. Come on, dear. Where you guys coming from? I basically cleared out that entire place by yelling. Eventually, this place will have a lot less zombies. We'll be able to stroll through here like it's nothing and wonder where all the zombies went. And then we'll remember, oh yeah, that's right, we killed them all. And it'll be glorious. Let's go ahead and move our stool up. After we sit on it, of course. Hey, ah! Sit on the ground, baby. And. There we go. Cool. Let's go ahead and pick up this bad boy. Get in my pocket, I guess. Yeah. I mean, it's only two kilograms. Imagine a stool that only weighs two kilograms. Pretty lightweight stool. It's like one of those 
Those like fold fold them up uh, stools, I guess. So I place it right about there. Even though we're gonna get a ton of zombies in this area. Rest again. See how see how slowly you get up. That's why you should always yeah. That's a that's another big store right there. Yeah, these are great. These are fantastic. Hopefully we can get some more... I don't know. Hopefully we can get a sledgehammer. If we can get a sledgehammer, that'd be amazing. Something tells me that we're not going to get a sledgehammer, though. We're going to have to find one of the... Um, the road events for that. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and check it right now. Why not? We'll go to the fashion store later. Later. Let's see, how, let's, let's see what our damage is over there. Ah, just these two guys? Alright, cool. Idea, dudes. Get slammed. Got. Cool. See, look. Look at his arm. That must be Authentic Z. That must be a new thing with Authentic Z. Like just just like how he does the the guts and everything and the ravaged kidneys and the hearts and everything. He must have added um the skeleton arms because believe it or not, Product Zomboid does have skeletons, like moving skeletons as one of their um or like the full skeleton of a zombie as one of their assets in the game files. That's why you have um that's why you have, um, I'm taking that. Ooh, glow sticks. I can't, I can't think of it right now. The, the mod where, I, oh, the, uh, God, what is it called? The CDDA zombies mod, where it'll, it makes the zombies, uh, or the skeleton zombies and the skeleton ferals and everything. Um, you know what? Yeah. We'll, we'll come around. We'll grab these later. I'm going to want them. The mining helmet. Eh. Nah, that's, it, it's cool, but it's, it's fine. Nothing that I really need or want. Wood glue would be cool if uh, we'd be using it. Um, crowbar. I mean, I, I'll take it. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, it's fine. We could use it. We actually don't really have that many crowbars left, unfortunately. No sledgehammer. Another crowbar. Bunch of floodlights. I love those floodlights. I'll take the machete. The machete. I like the machetes. Yeah, they're a good weapon. Yeah, yeah kind of a bust. Who cares? That's fine. Counting? Do we want to go in here? Yeah, I don't really care either. Eh, fashion, this is... Oh, mm. I'd be ashamed if somebody broke a window. Oh, boy. Oh, it sounds like you got, you got visitors in there. I'd be ashamed if somebody went in there and beat you up. Oh, we got two. Cool. Cool. Got him. All right. Let's see. What do we got? First off, let's go ahead and take everything off these dudes. And we're going to go ahead and take them. Come on with me. They're Manaquan. You too, Manaquan. People are like, oh my god, Vink, stop saying that. It's mannequin. I know. I literally said it um, corrected the first time. Hi there, friends. Would you mind getting... Oh, okay. Would you mind getting away from my truck? That'd be awesome. Oh, god. Well, we're in a bit of a pickle, eh? Can we get one of these in our bag? Let's see.
Okay, I can swing again. Yeah, there's no way I was gonna do that. That's why I was thinking about uh, bringing the car around for the floodlights because, um, yeah, it's still pretty populated in the area. I don't think I could uh, fit a whole bunch of floodlights with me. Man, I wonder if uh, with Authentic Z we're going to have skeletons on. That'd be kind of cool, like full on skeletons. I dig that. Yeah, I, I'm big into that. I like that a lot. Authentic Peach, he's, he's doing good. He's doing good work. I haven't caught one of his uh, modding streams yet. He used to stream quite a bit. Come on there, ladies. It's all ladies, except for that one dude in the back. I'm gonna get my mannequin back there. Run, 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 run. Go. And we're good. Cool. And before we get, yep, I was gonna say, and before we get sleepy. Of course we get sleepy. You know, the good bet is actually helping us, um, is helping us, um, not get so tired at the end of the day. So that's really nice. Cool. Yeah, we're probably going to head on home. Anyways, that's it for me, guys. Uh, do expect those mannequins to be set up and beautiful in the next episode. Um... For the most part, I don't know. I might have to do the next episode the following day. It's, it's getting kind of late for me. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you like my content and you want to see more, do consider liking and subscribing if you already haven't done that. And um, ring the bell. Check out my links down in the description. I'll check you guys out in the next one. See you. Bye.